What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is your guy Ejected coming back at you with another Call of Duty mobile video. In this video, it's a highly, highly requested video. It is how to improve your movement and how to have pro movement in Call of Duty mobile. Call of Duty mobile just received one of the biggest update in its game's history. They nerfed movement and they nerfed a lot of other things, but most importantly, movement. Movement is not the same. If you guys feel like your sliding and stuff is a little different and you can't prone as fast, it's because Call of Duty Mobile nerfed a lot of things. That makes it a little more difficult to be more fluid in your movement. But I got you guys. I found some little tips and tricks and little secrets that other YouTubers do not know that will improve your aim and movement. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe because we do Battle Pass, Lucky Draw giveaways, and we also do videos a lot. We're very consistent in our videos. And yeah, join the family. We're about to reach 2,000 subs. I love you guys for that. Comment down below what you guys prefer, the QXR or the Peacekeeper. I want to know your guys' opinion. And I reply to 99% of the comments, so don't be afraid to comment down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's talk about step number one on how to improve your movement. Number one, you have to have the right loadout. You can have a bat, you can have good movement if you're having my man of war class. If you guys seen, you can have a good movement if your thing is a slow, slow, clunky gun. And the perks I recommend for you to use is quick, lightweight, quick fix, and high alert. High alert has saved my life so many times and it makes you react fast. Like you see the thing, it's like, oh, someone's behind me. You move and you slide and you drop shot them like instant. So high alert is something I highly suggest. Lightweight is a given because it's lightweight, like duh. It makes you run faster and it makes you more mobile, it makes you harder to hit. The point of having good movement is you want to be harder to hit. That's the point. Number two, I'm, by the way, I'm getting through the basic steps, by the way, the basic things that most people already know. And I'm going to go to the more advanced tips later on in the video. So make sure you guys watch till the end. Number two, we are going to talk about map awareness. Now, you want to know the map that you're playing in. Because if you know the map that you're playing in, you know the map routes, you know everywhere where things are, you know where the head glitches are, you know where cover is. So you guys, when you have, you, when you wanna have good movement, you wanna make sure you're fluid. You wanna be like a river. You don't wanna be awkward and clunky. You wanna be smooth with the map because you know where the map, you know where the head glitches are at, you know where the secret spots are at. So you could kind of slide around in the map. You know what I mean? Because you know where, you know where certain spots are so you could have a higher advantage. Good things of having good movement is being able to climb onto head glitches and climb onto areas where other players cannot climb onto and other secret areas. And if you have good movement, you know how to access those areas a lot easier and know where certain things are in the map. So you know the map left and right. So it's like second nature for you to go on to different things. Now, third thing, you have to be comfortable with your HUD. Now, come on. We cannot have good movement if we're not comfortable with our HUD. We're, we can't. It's just not going to happen. We want to be able, we found our perfect HUD, which if you reach 100 likes, I'm going to do a HUD video. So let's reach 100 likes. <laughs> so make sure you guys have a good HUD. I have a HUD that is very comfortable for me and I found my sensitivities. So I am very comfortable with the way I move around the map and the way I do certain things. So make sure you guys have a good HUD and a HUD that you're comfortable that you could slide jump. I would highly suggest you guys to do a four finger claw. I know a lot of people don't have big devices like an iPad like me, but it is very possible. There are many YouTube videos. I personally don't use a phone, phone claw. I use iPad claw, but there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that could help you guys claw because clawing is the way to go. You're not gonna be super successful with two fingers. Like you could dominate a few times, but more consistently, you wanna make sure you guys have four fingers because it gives you more access to control. Now, if you guys are watching my gameplay, you guys wanna confuse the enemy. Your point of having good movement, you wanna be able to be as hard to hit as possible. That's the whole point of movement. If you're easy to hit, you're not gonna get any kills. You're gonna lose a lot of gunfights. So what you wanna do, you kinda wanna juke. If you guys watch football, you guys watch basketball, you watch sports, you kinda wanna juke your opponent. As you see what I'm doing, I'm always aware of where the enemies are at so I could act accordingly. So, okay, so there's a guy in a shield with a finick, which is kinda cowardly. And look what I'm gonna do. You see, watch, just watch, I'm not gonna talk. Did you guys see what I did there? I used cover to my advantage. That is called knowing your map and using cover to your advantage because look, look. So I'm trapped, I'm dead. Most people will die right here, but no. I juked the people out and I freaking demolished that guy. That guy literally got destroyed. He had to reload, so I destroyed him. I, I get these other two guys. See, I'm using my cover. I'm using the cover. I was dead. If, if it was any other person or any other map, I would be dead right there. There's four enemies coming my way in different directions. I'm screwed. But the way I use my cover and area, I basically got out of that situation alive, which is very, very good. And that's what happens when you have advanced movement. So yeah, you guys wanna make sure you guys use your area as your advantage to help you win more gunfights. Now we're gonna be talking about 
uh, confusing your enemy. So as you see there, I sh everyone has different pings. Some people have 10 ping, like me, 10 MS, which people are like, oh my gosh, Jack, did you have 10 MS? I know, it's called having good Wi-Fi. Some people have 100 MS. So a lot of the servers are different for certain people. Like some people see people differently. So it gives you an advantage to basically make you harder to hit and you could get out of situations easier because of certain MS's. So you guys wanna make sure you guys juke your enemy and make sure your enemy doesn't have clean hits on you. Now we're gonna be talking about the advanced tips. This is the advanced stuff. This is the stuff I'm gonna to talk to you about. Okay, first movement is bunny hopping. Now bunny hopping has been nerfed. You can bunny hop as easily, it's a little more concentrated. But as you see there, uh, it takes a lot of practice. So what you wanna do is you wanna run, slide, jump, double jump, double jump. So slide, Run, double jump. If you guys keep doing this, keep doing this, it takes practice. You're gonna get the perfect timing. There's gonna be a point where you're gonna have perfect timing and bunny hop is gonna be easy to you. Bunny hop is very good because what bunny hop does is when you slide and you peek a corner, you jump twice because the person ADSing on you, he anticipates you to be in one area. But if you jump twice, you move a big portion to the left. Therefore, making yourself a lot more difficult to hit. So you guys wanna make sure you guys bunny hop. Now, this is a practice that I do that's very helpful that helps me win gunfights with movement is this. So I shoot him, I don't kill the person and I move at the last second and I shoot him again. So this is why it's good because look, I'm gonna show you. You see, I shot and I went right back to the target. That's what you wanna do because what that does is when you're shooting someone, when you're shooting someone, they're shooting at you like directly. So, but when you shoot at him, you leave him low or you leave him mid health. And if you slide, he's already anticipating you going one way. So he's gonna shoot one direction north on you. But if you slide and jump in the last second, it basically throws him off and you get a free kill. So that's one thing, it takes a lot of practice. By the way, if we get 150 likes on this video, I'm gonna be doing a sniper gameplay. So stay tuned for that. And look, for snipers, for all my sniper people out there, um, you, you gotta hit your shots, man. Because there's some sniper movement tips that I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you guys. So this is what you want to do. When, when you're sniping, I would suggest you to slide a lot. Because look, when you're sniping, you're at a disadvantage. You only have one shot. If you miss the shot, 90% of the time you're dead. Unless the guy's really bad. So look what I do. As you see there, I run one way. And then at the last second, I turn the other direction. Watch. I slide. Bam. I hit my shot. Just like that. You want to be able to do that. When you're a sniper, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice, but eventually you guys will get it. Trust me. So what you guys want to do again is I'm going to demonstrate you guys. You run one area, you one run the one direction, you slide, you hit your shot. That's what you want to do. It will make the enemy very difficult to hit you. And that will also calculate your mind where the enemy's at so you can get a nice flick shot at. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the SMG. You could do the same tactic with the SMG. As you see what I'm going to do here. And then in the last second, I'm going to be shooting somewhere else, which again will throw the enemy off. One more tip I forgot to tell you guys is make sure your, you know, the little stick that you use to move, it's in my bottom, bottom left, bottom left. You know, the thing that I used to move and sprint. Yeah. Make sure you do have it as little as possible to where you're comfortable, because what that does is it helps you strafe better, helps you move forward better and it helps you move downwards better because it's smaller. If it's a bigger one, you have to reach your thumb more or your finger more. But if you're, if it's smaller, you don't have to move as much. So your, your movement is a lot more fluid. If you guys enjoy my video and if you made it this far, comment finish. Thank you guys so much for the video. I'm going to be uploading more videos in the future, obviously, in this week. Yeah, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out, boys.